Right, YouTube, it's uh, Wow Sly. Good morning to you. Uh, AKA Mike Six, Charlie Tango, Papa, AKA Charlie Tango 941. Uh, for the subscribers that follow me, you'll notice I like to play around and try and do something with solar power. It's not always good, it's not always fantastic, but I do try. Um, played around with different variations, took me about a year to get configurations how I want it and stuff. Really basic setup, you know. It's all uh, it's all down to funding, money, and uh, station management. But uh, I ordered a new fuse box the other day to replace the uh, 60 amp breakers that I've got at the moment, and it turned up. Uh, so this is just a quick look around. Um, they call it a three-way. I suppose it could be a four-way. Uh, breaker box, household, um, fuse box. Um, very cheap compared to what you'd pay for a high street shop. I bought it off a shop online and uh, the build quality is fantastic. Um, it pays slightly more. I think I've seen two way switches, uh, even empty boxes for the same price I've paid for this. And you can order, you can uh, email the, the, the seller and um, you can choose which fuses you want um which is good because standard with a 100 amp uh 63 amp and then i ordered a 32 amp a 10 and a 6 32 because uh i've got two 30 amp fuses in my inverter and 10 amp there to run radios and then the six amp so my replaceable three amp just to run lights in in the shack um gonna rebuild the wall system i had because I, I totally was in love with just the way it was set up and the display of it and how it worked um, but again it, you know it was all basic stuff i didn't jump in there and buy a lot of stuff i didn't know how it worked and stuff um and i bought the cheapest possible stuff dodgy wiring and scraped through it and got it working so now i've had a play around and uh, i've worked out what i need what i want to do it's time for all of the proper stuff. Got a new charge controller coming on its way. MPPT, uh, fully programmable, everything with uh, LCD screen. That'll be here soon. Uh, and that'll work in conjunction with this and some uh, other new bits and pieces I've got. And they'll all go back on the wall. So I'll have my mini go box for portable radio and stuff. Uh, I'll have my big go box for camping with the family and power cuts or whatever. And I'll have this beast just for the sake of it. Um. So yeah, people that just want to look on YouTube for fuse boxes and breaker boxes, uh, this video is for you. Or people that are looking for something more specific. Um, I spoke to a couple of people on Facebook yesterday. We were talking about fuse boxes and their needs and so on. So I'll drop a link in the description for the uh, the eBay seller for this because I was very impressed with them. Uh, the postage was quick. It did have to pay for 40 hour delivery postage, but uh, it was definitely worth it. The communication with the seller was fantastic. Um, can't remember the price. I can't remember how long it took to get here, but it was quick. And um, when I sent them an email saying which fuses I want, they got back to me really quite quick and polite. It wasn't like an automated message, which is good. Um, so again, because it's because it's quite cheap, the build quality it's great. You know, it's solid plastic. I thought it was going to be wafer thin and bendy. Uh, it's got four. Uh, fixings at the back for screws to go through to screw it to a wall which is good it could have had one or two and it could have been flimsy and that but uh, no it will secure to a wall really well um the door at the front if you click it shut it's a pig to open so that's good because it's sturdy and um, when it opens up it opens up 90 degrees or 89 degrees just enough to get a screwdriver in there um but these things here there's one on that side to stop the door from opening up all the way um, they just snap off because um, I didn't want to open the door and um, it get in the way and, and stuff so I just you know, made it out of on it. The door's reversible, it comes off, you just literally twist it, pop it on that side so you can have the door open up any side you want. I've just made some labels to remind me of the stuff I've got to wire up. Uh, as soon as the charge controller gets here I can. Uh, the main reason I wanted this is because the first two switches are dual, it's like a double one and the rest are single. Um, because you shouldn't, you shouldn't have um solar panel wired into your charge controller uh, when you're doing stuff for solar without power going to the charge controller. 
And the problem I've got is, uh, obviously I've got a fuse and a breaker switch between the battery and the charge controller to protect it. So if anything happens to the battery, the fuse or the breaker will go and it will protect my charge controller. But then I kind of contradict myself by the solar panel going in. So if the battery is disconnected at all, um, I'll still have power coming into my solar panel, which is kind of like a bit pointless. Um, and I, I kind of want to look after the new controller. Uh, it was like nearly 30 quid. Uh, the old controller was like six pound fifty. I didn't really care if it broke. You know, it was a learning curve. Um, so uh, I've got the double one here. I can get the battery in there, and I can get the solar panel on there. So if the solar panel or the battery trip, um, they'll trip together. Um, I don't have to worry about the battery tripping out and still having power coming in from the panel. Uh, if there's any problems, it'll trip everything and uh, isolate power in and power out um, again I can turn on the inverter when I need to I can turn on the radios when I need to and the lights sorry that was off I'll turn them on and that's it really so this is just a quick little view in it it's got a, a knockout holes at the top for 21 mil 28 and 22 I think it was already knocked out the inner one top and bottom because I've got some 22 mil piping I'm going to use to isolate the wires keep it neat and tidy make it look good um, it's all going to be white. The plastic PVC pipe I've got is white. Um, the new charge controller is white. This fuse box is white. So it's all going to be white. It's going to be all white. Um, I'll quickly rip this open and show you the insides. Most people are going to turn off now because it's a bit of a boring video. It's mainly for my subs and anyone that wants to look inside one of these who hasn't seen one before. Right, open the door up. Undone the four screws, just like a light switch on the wall in your house. They only unscrew so far, and then the front comes off. So you don't have to worry about unscrewing them all the way. They stay in there so you don't lose them. Right, right at the back is fixed, I think, with two screws. Um, breakers on that. Let's see if I can get them off. Pop them off with a flathead screwdriver. Because I'm me, I'm using the Phillips. They just lift out come out not bad quality because they're so cheap they're going to do the job i think um this bottom bit is where the wire goes it drops down it's like a big u and then when you screw that up it's got threads on this either side which uh, drag it back up and compress the cable um a lot better than what i've used in the past where the screw goes down and just pins the wire um that's been known for sort of snagging wire and coming loose. These these seem quite good really. But again, they're just well, I would say standard breakers, but they're all slightly different these days. Um, this is a new build house, and this is different to what we've got on the house. Make sure I've gone back in the right order. I want them in, and they just clip on, lay down, lock into place. There we go. And that's the inside. And then two at the top screw fit into the wall to at the bottom uh, the wall offset so you can twist it get it lined up how you want it and uh, good build again i thought it was going to be really soft and bendy but it's um it's good enough there's the one in the house these are probably like 130 quid and there's mine it's probably half the width okay, mine's only got five switches this has probably got about 14 two three four five six seven eight nine ten a blank So, if you are looking to do a project to expect, expand the power in the house to a room with no power or garage or shed or something, seek professional help. Don't ask me any questions. I'm not a sparky. Uh, I'm not liable for any silly answers I may give, like pouring custard into the slot one and B connects to D via uh, the iPod socket and on the bottom, that's where you plug in the bus bar. Um, there's a bus bar along here uh, with like four or five sockets on each side of the rail. Uh, I'll remove that because I won't be using the bus bar. Uh, that is the main, um, I'm going to call it a jumper cable. I went from the bus bar to the live. So you could have several things. I've took it all out. I don't need it. Um, took out that jumper bar there. Because I'm going to be using these separately. I'm not going to have the same power going in for all of them. 
it's hard to explain. Also, it came with a bit of paper with a wiring diagram and building regulations and a reference number. Building regulations B S seven six seven one. Um, no idea what that is. Don't care. And I'm not wiring it up at all like that. That's how it should be done. If you're sparky and you're wiring this into a house, um, but I'm not doing that at all. So that bottom rail there, yeah, on the bottom goes to all four of them. Um, yeah, we took that out. <laughs> Don't need that. <laughs> that's it, really. That's how I'm going to be um, switching things off and protecting things in the shack from now on, radios and light wise. Uh, it's a nice size. It's, it's a nice build. And it wasn't a bad price. It was the same price as I think an empty box would be in like, um, we won't name the shops, but like um, the building merchants, Wickers, or the, the Home Depot type shop, um, Q and B. You know, if you're going to these well-known places, um, these things are going to cost you a lot of money. But you pay for what you get, really. This is only a hobby. It's not wired into the house, so I'm not going to go and spend high-end money on a high-end product. Um, this is just to play around with and electrocute myself every now and then. We don't take anything seriously over in this part of the world. A lot of people say if you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. I say if you've got nothing nice to say, say cuckoo. Right, there we go. That's a breaker box, fuse box for a house. I made the little labels up myself. Oh, stuck them on with tape. Catch you on the next video. Hopefully the charge controller will be here and it will all be being wired in uh, outside on a rainy day.